Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we are going to the one and the only Diesel Store Boutique here in Canada. And we're going to be looking at all of the latest and stunning 1DR shoulder bags as well as the brand new Play shoulder bag. You know what? You can't really dwindle them down. Okay. They're it's hard really to get. Well, what is... But before we hop into today's Diesel Shop With Me in Canada, if you guys love handbags, hauls, luxury, diesel, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that pesky... YouTube Al Go Rhythm <laughs> So starting off in this diesel boutique because girl there is a lot of beautiful bags a lot of 1DR shoulder bags and micros as well as some random crossbodies we're going to be starting off with one of the gold metallics Here we have the gold 1DR shoulder bag and the patent metallic leather. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. As you guys do know, I did grab the orange metallic, but it was, I almost grabbed the gold. <laughs> I almost grabbed the gold, but the reason why I didn't was because this was the only one. And it, sadly, there was a couple marks on it. But it is still a really beautiful piece. And whoever got it is still very lucky because the bag is stunning. I love the gold sheen on it. It's a very, like, classy gold. Not, not like a gross gold or too yellow or anything. It's a very nice finish. Also comes in a red dust bag. I believe they all do, actually. And I tell you, these bags are a pain in the ass to like one hand. $650 Canadian plus tax. Not a horrible price actually. And bam, look how stunning that looks. It matches my outfit just so effortlessly. It looks classy and I really, really love this bag. But next up is the star studded. <laughs> <laughs> the star studded 1DR shoulder bag. This piece is stunning. Girl, this would catch on like anything faux fur related. I have so many faux fur bags or faux fur coats, sorry, and like fur coats. And this would be a hell, this would be hell. Hell in a hand basket for me. But it is just beautiful. Look at the craftsmanship. The beautiful studding of like the what are they? The, like the cubic zirconia or something? I don't even know exactly. But they're just really pretty. $950 though. I do believe this one's more in the limited edition range. So it's more expensive, but it's a real eye catcher. It is eye candy. And I don't know what looks better with my outfit. Honestly. The gold or this one? The It almost has like an animal print to it as well. It's a stunning piece. I would say it's worth a thousand dollars even if it scratches up or gets tangled into my faux fur. <laughs> but next up goes to a actual really interesting piece. This one's the Diesel 1DR crossbody. This is like a, a more simple take to the bag. It has more of like a clutch take and it has like a strap on the inside to make it crossbody so it's it's cute and I don't know I don't know if I like it more or less than the actual 1DR like shoulder bag itself I, I don't think so but I do think it still holds its own it's like this big oval but it's 
I don't know. It's cool. I think I like the leather on it most. It's like this acid green crackled leather. The giant D oval plaque is also like part leather, part metal. So that's really cool. $525 plus tax Canadian. Pretty, actually, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty expensive. I would say it's pretty expensive, but it's also bigger. It's bigger probably than the 1DR shoulder bag itself. So it's like, okay. But it's not as iconic in my opinion. But here we got the 1DR micro. The micro. The micro is actually really cute. And in the display case you'll see is like the red one. This one's $3.95, but the red one in the patent leather and the shiny, that one's actually limited edition. But it was locked away in a case, so I couldn't actually get my hands on it. Still really pretty. Here is the one I actually took home. The one that's behind me as I speak. And I used religiously for like two weeks. Broke that baby in real good. It, oh my god, I love this. The orange metallic is just so bloody sickening. It's such a unique color. The finish is done so excellently. I, I'm really glad I went with the orange instead of the gold. A, orange is my favorite color. B, it's sick. C, it's stunning. <laughs> I just love it. The gold, like, all of the metallics have, like, a very similar finish to it. But, like, it's just such a, like, a retro orange, maybe. I don't know. It just catches my heart and soul very easily. And here we got the neons. They got some neon leather bags here. I don't know what kind of leather this is. It's looking like it might be like a, I want to say crinkled leather or something. Maybe like a type of um, patent leather almost. I'm not sure. Could just be a normal cow leather, but it's very stunning. I actually was debating between this as well. I had seen it five ninety five, be like before tax. Not bad. It's so nice. Oh man, that color is beautiful. No. I love how bright the, the yellow the is. But that's kind of the problem. It's very bright, and like that's it's a little hard to pair, especially if you don't have that specific color to go with it. Like, it still looks dope though. I'm still really happy I chose my orange metallic. Completely happy I did. And quick outfit change, aka a day change. <laughs> we warped in time, y'all. Time warp to the Play shoulder bag. The brand new Play shoulder bag. Now, I will say right off the bat, it is not real leather. So, it, that's going to take into account to its price point, which is good to see that Diesel's not trying to re rip people off. And I'm having a hard time not adding this to my wish list because I'm a huge video game nerd. I love video games. It's, I'm not going to lie, it's definitely something I like to do on my spare time. But, like, throw it into, like, a handbag, $325. Even though it is pleather, it's not real leather, it's faux, it's still really soft. I would still say it's almost worth the money. I don't like saying fake leather is worth the money, but it's a big bag. It looks like it could be used for, like, um, everyday use, really. Like, it really depends on who you are as a person. But it's a really fun bag style. And they also have, like, different color variations. So here we got like the orange on gray. I do believe they also had like a green. I really like the orange on gray. I think if I had to choose one, it might be the black. The black would definitely have to come home with me. But again, in my eyes, yeah, it's a great diesel price. But for me, for a faux leather bag, it's expensive. And as you can see, there's some updated pieces in this time warp. We got the denim. The denim 1DR shoulder bag. And when I tell you, I was so happy to see this. Because I was at the coach store before this filming the black denim collection. And I hated it with a passion. I got to see this beautiful, beautiful diesel denim bag. This is what denim is all about. This 
felt like denim. This is denim. This is a, like a high-end luxury denim bag. Hands down, $550. That is it. That is all. That is insane. You get leather. You get denim. You get that amazing, sickening oval plaque. I love it. I'm not too big into these denim bags, but they are, I, I mean denim bags in, as a whole, but I love this. It gives me like Fendi print, but diesel thrown onto the 1DR shoulder bag. And it's just a sickening combo. But speaking of sickening, we got this electric blue 1DR. This electric blue, when I seen this, I gasped. I was like, oh my God, I, I, what now electric blue i feel like is might be coming into style again which i really like this piece is just sickening i a part of me is like i wish i wish i could get it because i like it in contrast with the orange a part of me is also like what i wish i also got this one instead of the orange but i also I, again i'm really happy with my orange i just really love the electric blue D plaque. It is just sickening. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred, hundred, hundred people, a 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 hundred, 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 Nine thousand or nine nine hundred ninety nine. There can be a hundred people in the room in the room in the room and ninety nine ninety nine. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's shop with me to the one and only Diesel Store in Canada. I love Diesel now that I've like stepped foot into the brand and everything. It's a sickening brand. All the 1DRs are just so uh, beautiful. The craftsmanship, everything. Like, the fact that they're even, like, half a grand usually for, like, a luxury piece is just astounding to me. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's uh, Diesel Shop With Me video, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit that like button. Share with your friends and family. Comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's outfit of the day or shop with me to diesel and you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation and you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my instagram facebook and discord notification squad i love you all to the absolute moon and back and i'll see you all in my next video. Uh, bye! <laughs> I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's <laughs> over. <laughs>